is Extrema. Um, it's Ramcore. <coughs> I've got a red lid, black knob, all ceramic, ceramic base. And here's the logo. I was told this was purchased in the last couple of years. This company does a funny thing. They advertise it as pure ceramic, sort of um, implying that it's not glazed and it doesn't have a coating, but it does. It has a glaze, has a black glaze on the base and it has a red glaze on the lid. This company has also for years advertised their products as metals free, which is a bunch of hogwash. I mean, we just started the test, but we've got chromium, vanadium, manganese, iron, and that's what just what's on the screen. Um, there are other metals, and we will do that in a full uh, write-up of this. The company has also um, claimed that the products are lead-free, um, and they've recently changed the language on their site to say non-leaching, but this does test positive for lead in the black glaze at 18 parts per million. That's lower than previous samples, so they might be changing things a little bit, but it's still not lead-free. And then here's the interesting part. This is not a sticker. This is um, a glazed um, applique that's made of glaze, um, not a um, paper sticker on the bottom that, that has their logo. And we're going to test that. And pretty much right away, these um, test positive for high levels of lead and cadmium and cobalt and also vanadium and chromium and iron and the thing is um leach testing on the exterior is not required i had understood that they had removed the leaded labels and that's not consistent with this given the age i was told the, this pot is but um the concern is that the leaded label is right on the heat source so you're putting the fire of your stove on the leaded label and they're not required to do leach testing or um, testing of whether or not there's a potential harm caused by the high lead uh, component that is right on a heat source i'm not saying that's definitely going to poison someone but there is a family that i worked with that uh, insists that that was a primary source of exposure for their kiddo when testing with the scope primarily on the red part the cadmium level comes up higher, of course, because red is a component of cad um, cadmium is, is in a lot of red. Here we have the lid, and we're going to test that separately. The thing about these lids that was really alarming for me is the first time I learned that these red lids had cadmium was when I went to the home of someone who was being treated for um, cadmium exposure. And she bought these pots and pans with the red lids specifically because she understood that they were cadmium free and she was trying to reduce all cadmium in her life. And she had bought this red lidded pan from Extrema because they said they were metals free. And the problem with that is that the cadmium is also the uh, red, in the red glaze on the underside. And I don't know that they're doing leach testing necessarily on the lid because it's not part of the vessel that um, would normally be leach tested. And here we also have that it tests positive for lead and iron and copper and zinc and more metals, I'm sure. This is testing the inside of the lid. And there aren't really regulatory standards for total cadmium content in dishware, so you find it often in red items. Um, the only issue is that this company, you know, people buy these products because they, they understand that they are metals free. They believe that they are cadmium and lead free. And in fact, they are not. They may be non-leaching at the time of manufacture. But the problem is if they contain these metals, then over long-term use and wear, there's a potential for them to leach, even if they are non-leaching at the time of manufacture. And you can read more about this on my website. And the full... 60 second test, 721 cadmium and 38 lead on the lid.